also a graduate of the Ateneo de Manila University with a degree in chemistry and computer engineering. Please all warmly welcome editor and founder of Yucatec, Mr. Abe Olandres. what 5G Red Cap is. So when we talk about 5G, a few things come to mind. Ano? Uh, first, of course, remember nung the transition time from 4G to 5G, the promise of 5G is ultra-fast mobile internet. And this is what we saw from the shift from 4G to 5G, that day around 10 to 40 Mbps. And remember, around 48 Mbps yung promised sa 4G, LTE advance. And then now we have 5G and normal na yung 500 Mbps. So in theory, 5G does not only provide us with faster speeds, but also higher capacity. What does that mean? That then, maybe in a single cellular site, there are around 100 people that can connect to the 4G network. But with 5G, it could be in the multiples of hundreds or even thousands. So you can difference. 4G or 5G is a hundred times more capable of driving traffic and um, uh, providing a better network efficiency. In the past, kasi, devices that rely on 4G LTE networks need to transition to 5G. Some really basic uh, IoT devices, whether it's smartphones, smartwatches, CCTVs, webcams, and all of that. And the, the problem there is 5G was admittedly, when it started out, it was very, very expensive, right? Even the CPEs, the 5G routers were like more than 10,000 pesos to get that one. So it was very cost prohibitive. But there is still a need to transition from 4G to 5G. And Red Cap addresses, addresses all that. What does that mean? Uh, 5G Red Cap, or Namajokanina the Major General, means reduced capacity for Red Cap. And how does it came about? Uh, 5G is, uh, has actually three pillars, but later on I will explain to you kung bakit nagkaroon ng opportunity or gap that natap ni, ano, ni, ni Dito. Actually, when they were talking about the first device that uses 5G Red Cap, I remember a few years ago, I think the mini Sir Art, uh, had a trip to Shenzhen, actually to the Huawei Innovation Lab, and we saw a lot of 5G CPEs there. And I think this is one of them that we can see. So there are actually three pillars in the 5G uh, technology. The first one is the one that we, all of us, are really familiar about. It's called, technical term niya is enhanced mobile broadband. This is where you know, 5G phones you know, Si si yung nalang yung 500 Mbps, 800 Mbps, di ba? Dati nalalang tayo sa South East Asia, ngayon, normal na yung 200 to 500 Mbps. And this is what we regular consumers are very familiar. Every time we fire up Ukla, and then we get that cheer na, oh, may mabilis yung internet speed ng mobile phone natin. The second pillar is uh, what is, has a technical term na uh, URLLC or ultra um, uh, reliable low latency communication, which is heavily used for mission critical functions such, uh, such as uh, atom, uh, autonomous vehicles. Uh, we saw this um, demonstration actually in the Huawei Innovation Labs in Shenzhen, China, wherein a lot of the autonomous vehicles are being driven remotely by 5G networks within a city. So it could be used for transportation. And hindi na kailangan, no, in the future, the mga EVs nyo and autonomous vehicles can be driven through 5G networks. Why? Because with the low latency, you're able to get a response from the network, from the device to the network, or the, umaga, the car to the network up to one millisecond. And that one millisecond is very critical because of course, the car or the vehicle is driving on, on public roads, right? So, yun yung importance of the second pillar of the 5G technology. The third pillar is the one that we rarely see, but actually we also encounter this in some um, industries. 
uh, uses uh, low power for wide area deployments. Uh, I think the example that was uh, shown to us when we visited China before was like um, um, a mining company can put up an ad hoc 5G network in the middle of nowhere. And there are 5G networks done, and all of the machines, all of the uh, crushers, bulldozers, uh, are being remotely controlled by this uh, low power 5G network. At the same time, I was also surprised that in a lot of the major ports, the international major ports, pag may nakikita kayong malaking container uh, crane that picks up all of the uh, container cargoes from the big ships back to the port, pabalik balik na gano'n. Um, in the old days, there were actually drivers. There were operators that climbed up to those towers to operate, to kumbaga, load and unload the containers. Now with 5G, Without technology, all those operators are hosted remotely na. Hindi na na kailangan umakyat doon sa train tower para i-operate yung machine. Because 5G technology allows them to have high precision uh, operation of those devices. So, with this three, we now...